Yeah, let's. Okay. Focus. Can, are you getting me, my hands too? Yep. Okay. Um, hi, it's Lori again from Blue Jeans Creations on Facebook and Etsy and YouTube. I created these um, files for wristbands that have adjustable um, knots. I have another video that shows how to do the knots. I'll have the link in the um, description. section below. Description. Now this video is to show you how to finish the knot ends so they don't fray. First thing you want to do, and don't do this until you're ready to seal because they will fray. So you clip it only about a quarter of an inch from your knot. Now you have to be really careful, and you can do this on the stove. I'm doing it on the on an old iron. You want to take this end part, and you want to push it into the heat source, and you let it melt. Then you push the hot part of it into itself, making sure that it goes on the knot and not on the part that moves. And then test your slide to make sure it slides. And you want to make sure that you go down far enough so that there isn't this jagged edge. You don't want it to scratch the wrist of the person wearing it. It actually works better on the stove, but you have to be really careful. And I could have cut that one just a tad bit closer. We'll do it again. Okay, so now I hold it, I pull the part that moves as far away as I can. Then I put it on the heat source and I push it in. It starts to melt. You can scrub this off with a magic eraser. Then I push this down. It's not too hot on my hands, especially with the iron. And, um, and then you just kind of squeeze it in. Like I said, it works better on the stove, but it would have been hard to get a good picture of what I was doing on the stove. So that's how you do it. Okay, now that one's sealed. So now I want to test it. And if you do accidentally get it caught, if you test it right away, you can pull it away so that it doesn't stick. So that's how you seal the ends. And then you've got your adjustable wristband. Now let's do it one more time. I already did that one. Cut it it's pretty close to the end on both sides. Pull the part that moves away from the knot. Push it up against the heat source and push it towards the other side of the knot. Please be very, very careful and this is not something you want to let kids do. I don't want to be responsible for anybody burning themselves. Uh, and then test it to make sure it moves. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Remember to move the part that moves as far away from the part you're heating up. Push it up against your heat source. Problem with the iron is most of these are set to turn themselves off if you don't put them down often. So, so then you um, you just put it in the push it into the knot and then it won't fray. A heat, a heat gun, the kind that you use to fray to seal the ends of webbing and stuff would work the best but I don't have one of those yet. Plan on getting one though. You can you can get these files at my Etsy shop, Blue Jeans Creations, and you can find out more details and see more of my embroidery creations. You can also buy the wristbands themselves at my Etsy shop. That's Blue Jeans Creations, and thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day.